What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be focusing on the PlayStation. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and the PSP. If you watched my other video with the Wii U and how we kind of had the little hiccup with adding Player 2 during the emulator, check out that video to make sure you're very clear. But keep in mind, remember, we do have two controllers on this. You do have your actual arcade sticks, which is controller 1. And you have your external Xbox controllers, which is controller 2 type. You know what I mean? So depending on what controller you want to use, you want to make sure that you're out of hyperspin. Before you start hyperspin, figure out how many players are playing with you and what controller you're going to use, okay? Right now we have the Xbox controllers activated, so we are using the Xbox controllers. My white one right now is activated to player 1 because I turned that one on first. We're going to load up PSP. We're going to go into hyperspin, let hyperspin boot up gonna skip the cutscene and now again you can use either stick I like the d-pad first one we're gonna do is the PSP we're gonna load up the PSP on this real quick we're gonna load up some Grand Theft Auto so the PlayStation Portable this I believe I mean you could take a look at my other video I don't, I don't really remember how many games we have but we have a lot of games no video on this menu only really the box art because again less media artwork more games to it Let's let him grant the photo. One button and one button only. Loading complete. So again, we're using one Xbox controller. PSP is only a one player type of system. We're able to skip. Look at how fast the loading is on this. Graphics are pretty nice on this. Again, the PSP, you do need, did the PSP have two analog sticks? I don't remember. I don't, yeah, it had the D-pad and the analog stick. We're just gonna skip this, we're gonna just run around real quick. And as you can see right now, we are running the PSP emulator. So this is like your regular PlayStation button, so triangle, circle, X, square. So to get on the bike, we gotta press triangle, X to drive. As you can see here, I'm able to control. We have square as our uh, brake. L2 is to, I guess, really my L1. So L2 and R2 are, are the, really the L1s on this. Probably go inside of here, I guess. I don't know. Yep. So you can save states, obviously. We're going to pick up our gun. We're going to figure out how to break out our gun. So it's the D pad to break out the gun. Let's go outside. Don't make me do this. So. Yes, we are using the R2 on this. Square to jump. Oh, cool. Let's see, how do we shoot? Circle. So, we're able to grab a new gun. X to run. Now we're ready. Now I know all my controls to the PSP. There you have it. I mean, again, pause. You have everything here. Easy stuff. Again, PSP works flawlessly. There's a lot of games to it. And again, remember, we can't use the, the arcade sticks because Hyperspin's not noticing it. Really, Joy Key's not noticing the arcade sticks anymore. So if you did want to, as you can see again, what I was saying before, R2 is being used in this emulator. So R2, for you to exit out of this emulator, you do have to press the escape button. Once you escape out, you're back into the menu and we are set. Again, R2 on hyperspin menu is back. So let's now load up a PlayStation 1 game. PlayStation 1 again, another system that needs all the buttons to it. Uh, let's load up something easy that will boot up pretty fast. Again, I have the wheel set to the middle of this because I just like how it looks on this. Oh, Rampage is old school, Rayman. I just kind of want to do a game that's going to boot up really quickly and show off everything. I'm going to load up uh, Marvel vs. Capcom real quick. That's an easy one to show off. So, player one again is here. We have both controllers on before Hyperspin turns on. Loading complete. Again, PlayStation 1 I do have set to a 16 by 9. You will see this little analog thing pop up. You can just ignore it. And this now will boot. Gonna let it do its thing. 
It even does an auto loading, looks for the save state of a memory card, which we don't have in it. Capcom presents. I'm gonna press start. So here again, I have player one here. I should actually flip this so you guys can see it. We have to set the versus mode on this. So, uses the D-pad. This one here, player two. And we're gonna try to breeze through this. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter what stage. Again, so this game, for example, is not using the left analog stick, it's actually using the D-pad. Again, PlayStation 1 is using all buttons on this, all E buttons. So, we should be able to right, left, up, and down. We got our kicks and our punches. Let's see. Yeah, see, so, if I was to throw a Hadouken, can I? <laughs> there we go. There we go. So as you can see here, again, always just double check, left, right, up, and down, and we are set. We have our pause works, all set and done. Again, once you're done with the emulator, you basically have to grab the keyboard and press the escape key out. It's just something that has to be done. The screen goes back to resolution. Now we could use this R2 to bring it back. The last thing I want to show off is the PlayStation 2, and we're going to talk about the emulators for everything, so PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. PS2, there is something that happens on the PS2 that I just want to show off, but real quick, let's just load up, um, I always do either God of War or uh, Grand Theft Auto, just to show off the graphics on it. Um, but actually I want to show off one that I never tried before. I'm going to do Vice City Stories, I have never loaded that one before. So this is a PSP Load game. Complete. Load and complete. Let's just see if it happens on this. Oh, it looted, it loaded, it booted, perfect. There you go, PS2 is now booted up. Same game as before with the PSP, but now we're running it on the PS2. There is something that does happen, it rarely happens, but you know, I guess it really depends on what game you play, but uh, the PS2 emulator, I'm drawing a blank as far as, I think it was PCSX2 or something like that. Um, any new games that have been, I never loaded this before, so I'm pretty, Happy that it is loading very well right now. We're just gonna skip these cutscenes. I just want to get into an actual action part of it. Again, this this is just like the PSP, I guess. I never played this one. I played all other Grand Theft Autos except for this one. So again, we are running PS2 emulator on this. So again, as you can see, it is the same as the PSP. We got our X. No stutters. I mean, you get maybe a baby stutter out of it, but not too bad. We have our right stick working. Everything on this works. Again, if you did want to, oh, see, we got our L and our R2 working on this now. Is there something, no, that's me. If you did want to exit out of this, good song. You escape out and then you are back. Again, really cool stuff. Oh, we can do Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I guess, for the PS2, why not? I've never loaded it. The thing I'm trying to get it to do is that I never loaded this game before, so let's see if it's gonna do it with us. I'm gonna bring you actually into the emulator of PS2. No, it didn't It didn't do it, so this is good. I mean, it happens once in a blue, I guess. So there's something that like happens in the emulator that it, it catches all like the shaders, and it takes like a minute or two. Uh, I do wanna see if I could get that to happen, but for right now. This we should have the same thing with player one and player two going on. So let's see, I have player two, and I have player one, so we are able to play. Again, PS2 emulation works very nice on this. I was playing some God of War, God of War 1, God of War 2, really cool stuff. This does have memory card safe states to it and everything, so we are using our sticks. Again. Two player action, and if you have to use the keyboard to exit out. Let's bring it all the way back to the emulator real quick, just to show you what I was talking about. But basically, PS2, same thing with PSP uh, minis. It's the same as that concept with the PSP. It all works, it's really awesome stuff. So again, we're focusing on all PlayStation. We're gonna exit out. I just wanna show you guys the emulator on this to finalize the video. 
Again, on my emulators, some of them are named by the emulators and some of them are named by the system. So I do have one here that says Sony PlayStation. Let me get you your internet, there we go. I do have one Sony PlayStation. PS2 is this one, the PCSX2. That's this, I'm gonna load this up real quick. And basically there is um, a thing called Show Console. Uh, and let's see if I can boot up a system, a game real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to boot. I'm gonna boot up. Let's just let's pick one. Uh, Def Jam. So something happens here that like it does say like catching or whatever. So this hot swapped, and now I have to boot it. Uh, boot. Let's see if we do it. So basically, again, if you do get like an error that comes up on hyperspin, this loaded. I can always just Windows key and open up my console and on my console, it's gonna show me what's happening. Basically something here, it says like catching and then it's a bunch of numbers like one by one along the side. So this is all good. As you can see right now, we are loading up Dev Jam Vendetta, old school game. I forgot which one is my player one, my player two, honestly. This is player one. This is player one. Press start, press start. See that? We're all good. I don't want to enter my name. I mean, again, just to load it up. Again, some Def Jam Vendetta action. Classic game right here. Old school right here. So, as you can see, we're able to wrestle. I could Boom. That's it. Once you're done, you just escape key out. That's all it is, guys. Again, that is the PS2 emulator. Uh, the PSP emulator is also here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, PSP. PSP running is this one. PPP, SSSPP. <laughs> it's all there. Uh, again, you could always boot these games outside of Hyperspin. Uh, some emulators like this are very attractive, meaning the game list is here. These are the previous games that we've played. So instead of you going through hyperspin, you could always boot it through here. Again, PSP, PS1, and PS2, PSP minis, all good to go on the budget beast.